What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back! It is time for some more StarCraft 2 commentary. Today's game is going to be between you and YJ, our Red Terran player here in the 12 o'clock spawn location, and over here in the 9 o'clock we have got XG King Mafia as our Yellow Zerg player. Now we're on the map Metalopolis, and again this is going to be a Terran versus Zerg, Yoon YJ versus XG King Mafia. Probably going to call him Mafia or King Mafia, and I'm likely to just call Yoon YJ Yoon. So yeah, let's go with Yoon versus Mafia. Sounds good. Now as you can see, they are spawning in that close air position location, and as Mafia moves across here with that Overlord Scout, he will be uh, he'll be checking out his opponent in just one moment. He should be spawning him just about now. And then pulling back, or is he going to go all the way through? It looks like he has decided to go all the way through with that. He's going to try to make his way to the front just to check uh, if there is a wall off, uh, how many barracks there are, everything like that. Obviously, so, but obviously, though, by the time that Overlord gets there, he is very likely to only scout out one racks. Something to keep in mind, too, is that Yoon YJ can probably hold off on the SCV scout a little while longer than he may otherwise, uh, especially given the fact that he now knows where Mafia is. He is fully aware of Mafia's location given that that Overlord is in his base so very soon. So he moves forward, checks the racks, and then pulls back to check gas. And these are the two things that he needs to look for. Uh, so very, very wise here of Mafia. And then upon spotting that gas, decides to just pull on over and tuck his Overlord away someplace nice and safe and to be used later for secondary scouting. And again, what we can uh, decipher here from Yoon YJ is that in going for that uh, refinery, he will not, of course, be going for a one racks expand. The only exception is, were he to decide to open up with a Reaper, he could still go for some build like that. And that's the, really the only other variation that you will typically see. Now, King Mafia over here, still no extractor. He has dropped down his Hadria, of course, and will be waiting on that extractor to sometime after that spawning pool. Spawning pool is now coming down. Looks like he did get that. It was either 16 or 17 supply when he ended up dropping that. I wasn't paying attention to uh, when and where those drones get produced. SCV Scout now moving across again. He knows exactly where his opponent is, so now he's just checking for production buildings. Uh, he just wants to know exactly what's up, checking for the extractor, checking to see that spawning pool timing, and also would be uh, moving for a Roach Warren as well, although it is a little bit early to spot that. And here you go, a little harass in the early game as Yuin is dropping down a bunker. This is going to force Mafia to pull down here with his drones and try to engage. Now we've got that first Marine coming across, although he should be a little late. SCV pulling to the other side. Very, very nice. Yoon will be forced to cancel that off, but here we go, Marine moving forward and trying to engage SCV back to constructing, and there's going to be a little bit of micro here as he's going to attempt to finish that bunker and keep that Marine alive. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Looks like the Marine does get taken out. That bunker very close to finish. Second Marine on the way, and that bunker, is it going to finish? It does. He finishes off the drone, gets the bunker up, and gets a Marine inside. How hilarious is that? Back over here, we can see the follow-up. It's going to be some Hellions. Still got three guys on gas, but only on one refinery. Now, this one Marine will not take out this hatchery. There will be enough Zerglings in play uh, from Mafia, from King Mafia. I keep wanting to call him Mafia King. Uh, King Mafia will be able to get enough Zerglings in play, plus the spine to prevent this hatch from going down. But the thing is, the Yoon is severely delaying the mining here at this expansion, uh, and Mafia, as a result, is clearly hurting economically. A couple links coming up. That spine coming on through, and actually, now that we have two queens engaging, the links will pull forward, force the salvage there, and the Marine, as well as the SCP, gets taken out. Salvage does complete, though. So ends up getting those resources back, but we got two Hellions and that follow-up already prepared. Also an expansion coming through, still on the one gas. He's coming out with a tech lab over here, so we should be seeing some upgrades. And let's see what these Hellions end up doing. There will be two more Hellions coming out as well, so at the very least we'll be seeing four Hellions here in the early game. Here comes a second spine here for uh, King Mafia as he prepares to defend against any additional harass. And again, he will be seeing some Hellions come up very shortly. We have the Metablock Boost coming on through here. That spine again almost finished. Also, Stimpak research has started over in his main base there for Yoon as he will prepare for a bio follow up to this aggression here. Roasting a few drones, getting some more kills there, staying away from that spine and that queen not doing enough damage to actually really threaten these two Hellions. The additional two Hellions are actually at the center of the map right now, just getting map control at that tower. These two pulling over into the third uh, possible location there for Mafia. And uh, Mafia taking a little bit of damage early on. We'll take a look. Now at the resources lost, you can see Mafia slightly behind at the moment. Take a look at the workers killed. Five workers killed in the opening there for Yoon. There's the Overlord that was tucked away up here, moving in for some Sacrificial Scout. 
He will be scouting out the fact that that expansion is finished. He can also see the research coming through on that tech lab as it is uh, glowing and kind of spinning around there. And obviously also knows that more and more Hellions are coming. Now we got another Expo coming out here. Ooh, very tricky here for Yoon as he attempts to go for a very quick third. That, of course, could be incredibly risky. More and more Hellions coming out. And actually, what we'll be seeing here from Yoon is a big, hefty Hellion push very, very shortly. He may actually uh, go out with that Stim timing push as well. That is uh, certainly probable. A little bit of supply block here, unfortunately. We'll be transferring that over now. And uh, let's take a look at a total of eight Hellions in play, and I'm expecting that push to come very shortly. There is the scan. Well, I'm going to drop down these creep tumors. At the moment, we only have two spines in play, a couple zerglings, ten more lings coming out. Baneling Nest is in play. We got that evolution chamber in play as well. And uh, this push isn't going to go through as the speedlings move forward, getting us around there on the Marines. And the Hellions actually pushing back. They most certainly could have engaged that, and they, mo they were obviously worried about us around. But now these off the creep. Could certainly be in a better position there to actually engage with those Hellions. He's got the full force of his Hellions right now. And again, that total number is eight. The creep should be slowly receding right now as the furthest creep term at the moment is going to be this one. So the creep should be pulling back to about this angle right here. So it's got a little bit further back to go. And uh, Malfi is actually also getting out two more queens to help him defend here against this uh, possible Hellion push instead of, you know, instead of working up too much and getting too many links, deciding to throw a few queens in the mix. We also have a third base coming out here for Mafia. There's the scan. We'll allow him to drop some more tumors. Spotting that the high ground wasn't defended, though, pulling all the way up. Links trying to get a full surround. They're getting roasted there, but uh, unfortunately getting hit by that spine plus all of those links. Managing to take out the rest of these Hellions. Now they're just about finished, and there you go. Mafia finally able to drop that. Let's take a look at how that engagement went through. Uh, looks like overall they were about even in terms of resources lost. There any more workers killed? No, still just at the five. We got a marine kind of chilling out over here. Let's take a look at what's going on. He is still on hatchery tech. Hasn't worked his way up into layer. That of course is because he's worked up to hatchery. Also coming out with some upgrades instead. Got a carpus level one upgrades coming through. Take a look over here at the composition for Yoon. He will be going marine tank. And some medevacs in the mix too. Also, we will be seeing a bunker over here to try to defend this very vulnerable third. Again, getting a third this early, incredibly risky. So he needs to try to get up some sort of defense for that. And he will be relying on a bunker. Also might be forming a little bit of a wall here. As we can see that first supply depot uh, getting built right now. That bunker now filled with Marines will help him defend there slightly. Nice little wall off up here for Yoon as well. As he's still working his way up into siege tech, this is a very vulnerable time for him. But again, it does seem like uh, he hasn't really pushed out with anything. And actually now, just as I say that, take a look at this. Yoon moving out with a medevac stim marine drop is what it's going to be. Let's see how effective that is. Nice spotting overlords over here. We'll be checking that medevac as it comes on through, allowing the speedlings to pull on down for a quick response. This should force one viking, and there it is, that one viking now coming out. It's actually rallied over in this position, really liking that full wall off here. And now as Siege Tech has just finished, he's going to be in a nice uh, fortified position there, although this is still vulnerable. i got to keep that in mind. That position is most certainly vulnerable. Two macro hatches coming out here for Mafia. Mafia also finally working his way up into layer tech. And very, very nice two macro hatches. Love to see that. Take a look at what he decides to follow up this speedling heavy force with. Uh, 24 links just popping out. We'll be sitting on a total of 44, but still deciding not to push out. And I don't think he's scouted. No, he's not scouted the fact that there is a third base. He knows that there's a natural because he saw the uh, the, he saw the command center building in the main. So he knows at the very least there's one next spot, but I don't think he knows that there's a third yet. So hopefully we get some scouting out there for Mafia so he can uh, be aware of that and, and uh, as a result actually try to respond and do something about it. Spire is coming out, so we'll be speeding Baneling Muta here for King Mafia. That's going to be his composition of choice. Also another expansion coming through, although we do see a drop coming down. That's going to spot that just in time. Viking now moving through over here. No drop in the main, but the drop forcing the cancel there. A very unfortunate situation for Mafia. Mafia also losing that Overlord. Speed lane's coming down, trying to intercept here. Not going to get the Marines as the Medivac manages to pick them up just in time. Viking with one kill already. He's got a second kill coming on through. Still nowhere near, unfortunately, nowhere near those Mutas. Uh, that, is, that is very unfortunate. He's going to continue to lose some Overlords here unless he pulls down with some of these Queens. Which it looks like he's not doing yet. And King Mafia could just kind of take in this damage right now. Yoon preparing another drop as he puts down his uh, Marines. Will be stimming up and likely pushing on that expansion yet again. And Yoon still with three bases. Got a very nice economy and really working up those Marine tank numbers. 
It's looking pretty good so far for you. And unless we see some uh, some major response here from Mafia, he's going to need to start to do some damage because right now I think he's a little bit hurting, to be honest. He was on the same number of bases as Yoon for quite a while and dealing with one force cancel and a second force cancel is going to really set him behind economically. Remember, keep in mind when I say that, Zerg player does want to be one base above their opponent um, when it comes to a Terran or Protoss opponent. It's really ideal, especially given that composition. When you're looking at Speeling, Bailing, Muta, you really do have to be one base above your Terran or Protoss opponent. And that, plus the, all these cancelled expansions, is really going to hurt him. Another drop getting laid down, only losing one Marine so far and still doing more and more damage. So far, killed 10 workers this game. Resources lost. Mafi is certainly behind. Finally, though, the Mutus popping as that Spire has just finished. He's going to, at long last, be able to do some damage. Taken out, a medevac filled with Marines. Step number one in trying to get yourself back in this game. Speedling's now moving out across the map. First thing, grab the towers, and then continue from there. Let's take a look at the numbers here. 18, oh, whoa. 16 mutas. But take a look at that speedling count, 85. So all of a sudden, just massing up these forces and uh, hopefully prepares for a, some sort of an engagement. Now, here we go. Yoon now pushing out across the map, sensing that those muta numbers would attempt to start to contain him right now. He's decided to deal with them proactively as he moves out. But we got a speedling and muta counterattack prepared to push onto this base. And let's see how this ends up doing. Now, we got that high yield expansion being taken here by Yoon. At the same time, though, here come the speedlings and mutas. A couple of Marines moving down. We got some turrets again, very close to finish. Speedlings Mutas now to the backside of that resource line, killing off some SCDs. This drop still doing nothing over here, and the Mutas forced back as the turret finishes, and those Stim Marines prove to be a huge threat. And here are the Stim Marines. Are they gonna force another cancel? A couple of them bugging out. They really need to be microed into a proper position. Forcing another cancel again, a huge victory there for Yoon. Forcing a cancelled expansion is gigantic. Look at how vulnerable these siege tanks are. A couple of mutas could swoop up there and take out two or three before the marines could even respond. That would be really awful, but he is busy dealing with this drop harass as he's trying to pick off these marines and that medevac, able to take him out with that uh, spieling and muta uh, combination, which basically makes it impossible for that Terran player to pull away. Marines on the ground, speedlings take him out. Marines in the medevac, uh, the mutas drop that, and there you go. Now this is a great opportunity if he can just capitalize and hit those tanks. Tanks now unseaging and pulling back to the safety there of those marines though. And uh, now we have seen some sort of response and they are now about even in terms of resources lost. Now the muta numbers are getting stronger and stronger. Now at 18, also got a bunch of banelings and ton of speedlings coming through. We're going to be seeing Yoon try to push down here on Mafia's uh, bottom left expansion down right near that 6 o'clock. I guess I'll call that the 5. At the same time, Mafia moving into the main with his mutas. Lots of speedlings and banelings moving across the map. Just a giant blob. And the siege tanks get caught unseaged. Get a full surround by the Speedlings, and they get taken out. And that was a big, big loss there for Yoon, although he's got plenty of Marines to deal with that. He just lost pretty much all of his Siege Tanks. He does have four left, four Siege Tanks, two over here, and it looks like two there in the main. But he lost a bunch there. Although uh, Mafia is still behind, that certainly helped him quite a bit as Yoon losing all of those tanks without doing much damage uh, certainly was of no benefit to him. Another medevac drop preparing to get pushed on over into this position, going to force another cancel. And again, this constant marine medevac drop aggression here from Yoon really, really hurting Mafia's economy here as his expansions have had a very difficult time getting up. He's just been so proactive about that. All the Marines get taken out. That medevac will be taken out there by the Death Cloud of Mutas. It is moving across the map. Now the number 29 Mutalus in play. Awesome, Mafia. Now try to just move out with that, do a little bit more damage, and I will be pretty happy with your performance in this game. Take a look at Mafia Vision. He's now moving out with those mutas. We got anything going on here for Yoon. He does have one medevac being dropped over there at the same time, pushing across the map in this position. Also dropping out a sensor tower. This will let him see any pushes moving up on that high yield much more clearly. Here it comes. Speedlings and Banelings pushing onto the position here. Tanks again caught a little bit off guard at the same time. Mutas moving in the back of this expansion. All the tanks get taken out. Enough Marines to force back the rest of these Speedlings and Banelings. But these Mutas are going to do devastating amounts of damage over here. They're going to force all the STVs off the line. Should be able to drop those turrets and do more damage. Stimmed up Marines now pushing on in this expansion. Can he drop it? That would be huge. Also, that Stimmed Marine drop over here should force another cancel. 
And uh, Mafia losing this expo. He's going to be forced to cancel this one as well. That is really, really awful. Where is Mutas? Mutas over here still doing some damage, engaging all these Marines. They have dropped this expansion. More Marines coming down. And then Mutas dropping that expansion are going to help him quite a bit. But again, keep in mind, he has just lost these two bases. So right now, he is just on two mining bases, pretty much, as that main is all but mined out at the moment. Uh, I, I, I mean to say that main is mined out, not all but mined out. A little more damage going down, but again, enough Marines now to force him back. And at the moment, uh, Mafia needs to try to get up another expansion. He's really hurting. Look at that Marine Micro trying to stay away from this round. But here come the rest of the Banelings. Coupled with those Spielings, able to prevent those Marines from doing too much more damage. Look at these splits. Oh, wow. Unbelievable performance there. Nice micro by both players. Love the Marine uh, splitting as well as the Spieling and Baneling splitting. Very, very nice indeed. About even still in terms of resources lost, but take a look at the economy here, my friends. Uh, Yoon is ahead in terms of those minerals being gathered. Now, Mafia does have that Vespian advantage, but also keep in mind that Yoon's, Yoon's uh, unit composition is marine heavy, so he doesn't mind being Vespian uh, lacking. Especially, I mean, look, he doesn't even have refineries up here. Obviously, marine is the resource of choice here for Yoon, and right now he has got the advantage in having that high yield as well as this expo up. Still trying to drop those expansions again. Also, at the same time, trying to take the high yield marines. Are they going to force another cancel? Yes, they do! Just getting there in the nick of time there. And a drop over here is going to force another cancel as the Marines and tanks push across the map, forcing the Speedlings, Banelings, and Mutas back. Finally seeing some infest Infestor transition. We are also going to be seeing some Adrenal Glands come out. The Zerg Ground Carpus Level 3 is coming through. Another Force Expansion, Force Cancel Expansion over there. Mafia just trying to get up his fourth right now. His High Yield forced to cancel too. The drop of Yoon, the draw play of Yoon has been just so devastatingly effective here. And uh, it looks like we are finally going to see Mafia try to make a counter response here as he pushes his way into the main. There are not a lot of turrets here, and those mutas could do a bit of damage. At the very least, take out these attachments. It's going to be very effective. Marines trying to push up, seeing if the expansion was redropped over here. As we can see, that was not the case. These Marines waiting for that expansion to go down again. And look at that, expecting that to happen there, pushing in, but there is nothing there for him to see. Muna's moving up, able to do a little bit of damage. I think they killed off a few SCVs, but Marines are going to force him back. Looks like they got no attachments over there. And here we go, the Marines now dropping onto this position as uh, King Mafia is going to be forced to deal with the drop harass yet again. Mutas really can't push up onto the main anymore. There are just way too many Marines. And look at all these Speedlings and Mainlings just to deal with that one medevac. Uh, we're going to see that missed fungal growth. <laughs> a couple of infested Terrans get dropped down. Missed a fungal again. Infested Terrans will take out the medevac, though. Looks like Yoon is just sacking that. Maybe he thought he was fungal. I don't know. I do not know. Muta's still dancing around right now. We got uh, another drop going down over here, and Mafia will be forcing a cancel one more time. So many bases have been forced canceled here due to Yoon's dropping, and I gotta, you got to love it. I mean, that's just such proactive play. He is always on the offensive here, even if, it, if it's just with one medevac, and then lifting up and pulling away. Finally, though, the Muta's going to come to respond to this. A couple of Marines trying to defend, but the medevac gets dropped out, and the Marines, unfortunately, were out of range there. King Mafia, though, still isn't out of the game, even though his economy is really starting to hurt. Now, keep he did manage to get up this expansion, which is going to help him a bit, and also this expo is mined out. We are finally going to be seeing Yoon attempt to push onto this expansion. Now, one big advantage that Yoon has at the moment is he is defending this side of the map. And keep in mind, when it comes to ground pushes, you've only got two options, over here and over here. And uh, have, being so defended over here is really going to help him defend as we progress into the later stages of the game. And Yoon moves on to this expansion and this expansion. We're going to need to see Mafia actually rely on some Muta Harass to be able to deal with those effectively because pushing on this position is certainly going to be difficult. Tanks getting some splash there on the high ground, able to do a little bit of damage. Here's that transition, the late game transition into Broodlords. And also we got that Flyer Carp is level 3. I wasn't even looking at those upgrades. That is intense coming through here. We have 3-1 right now for, for ground force upgrades. And let's see how this transition is going to prove to be effective here. Uh, one big concern at the moment is that Yoon does not have a, a proper spawn here. He's got eight Vikings. That eight Viking is going to be enough. We've got a couple of Mutas moving down to try to intercept those. Those Vikings will drop it quickly. Is it managed to break this siege position, though? And this is going to allow King Mafia 
to continue to push. We still have a few Marines over there, but there should be enough Spieling, Banelings, and Infestors to continue to push. Two tanks on the high ground will make things a little more difficult, but King Mafia moving out across the map. Do we have any drops going on in response here from Yoon? No, there's nothing going on at the moment here for Yoon. He does not have any other drops or anything in the works. At least as of now, I'll keep an eye on the minimap, make sure not to miss that. Brewlords now preparing to push onto that high yield expansion. Vikings again trying to deal with that. Infestors and Mutas should be pushing forward to deal with that, but the Infestors are going to be taking splash damage from those tanks and so many Marines pulling forward to force back those Mutas and the Blue Lone numbers getting smaller and smaller as the Vikings have had the opportunity to pick them off here. Trying to push on this position though, he needs to be very careful about all the splash damage he's going to be taking. He's committing! There's the fungal growth! On all those Marines and the tanks, the Brew Lords continue to push, and uh, the Viking getting target fired down there by the Mutas, and it looks like he broke the line again. All he needs is some more ground forces to continue to push on that. We have a lot of Corruptors now to deal with those Vikings. We aren't seeing any Ghost in play to deal with the Brew Lords either, so all Yoon has right now are Marines and Vikings. And that's not going to be enough as all those Corruptors will deal with the Vikings and the Broodlords, plus the uh, fungal growth there from the Infestors will deal with those Marines. And all of a sudden, this is not looking good for you. And here come a big uh, task force of Marines. They're going to be walking into some fungal growth action, though. And uh, we're going to be seeing if those Broodlords try to take out the rest of them. We're going to manage to take out one more. It's going to be very close. And no, the Broodlord is still alive. More Mutas coming on through. We got six more in production here as well. Again, any counter response at all? Nothing. No drops or anything going on here for Yoon. He's too busy trying to deal with this. His high expansion very close to getting taken out here. More tanks and Marines pulling down, trying to again deal with the Brew Lords. This Brew Lord very low. That one gets target fired down. The other one gets lowered a little bit. We got a bunch more Brew Lords coming through. Six more Brew Lords here being produced right in the center of the map, and Yoon can do nothing about it as he just lacks the forces to be able to deal with this. And I've seen a drone transfer over here and all of a sudden King Mafia looks to have won the game coming from behind after dealing with so much harass from the continuous drops of Yoon who was able to finally make that final push and now with all these Brew Lords coming out really Yoon does not have a good response yes he's got those Marines but again should be seeing some fungal growth Plus any speedlings. Actually, what do we have right now for unit composition? Wow. Okay, so there's no more infestors. Uh, it will just be the brew lords and the mutas defending the brew lords. Uh, corruptors just again to still deal with any possible Viking remnants that may still be around. But at the moment, King Mafia is in a very dominant position. And here is the response. Look at that production tab. The response to those Marines going to be some ultras. And look at all those macro hatches here for Mafia. So intense, allowing him to go for that quick swap at the uh, on a whim. And now he's got all these bases up and running. And again, we haven't seen many drops from Yoon in a while as he's been too busy dealing with this aggression, trying to get his economy back up. Also coming out with some more and more Vikings. But with seven Ultralists in the works, King Mafia is again uh, in a dominant position and appears to have won this game. He did decide to pull back for safety's sake, it appears, as he just wants to make sure 100% that he has got this game in the bag before he decides to continue to push. He doesn't want to walk into any tank marine positions and get overwhelmed. Very nice spread here from Yoon's Marines to uh, try to deal with any possible uh, ground force pushes that are going to be happening. Again, we are seeing that transition into ultra heavy. One more ultra coming through, so we'll be a total of eight ultras in play once that finishes. Eight Ultras, eight of Broodlords, five Mutas, and 12 Corruptors. That is a scary force. Look at those upgrades, too. Five armor upgrade there for the Ultras. Three armor upgrade for the Broodlords as well. Really not focused on those weapon upgrades. In fact, finally just starting to get the weapons level two upgrade there for his ground forces, the melee level two is what I mean to say. A couple of Marines forcing back those Mutas and Corruptors, but here it comes. The big, big push. Do we see any drops here from Yoon? Again, still nothing going on as he's too focused on defending himself. Brew Lord's moving up. Ultra's moving up. Just bypassing this expansion. He realizes that he, if he can take out this Expo and effectively starve his opponent, he has got the game, and this is just overwhelming forces here for those Marines. Force back. Lifting off that Orbital Command. Gotta be careful, though, because we got a lot of Corruptors in play, and they're gonna be taking that down pretty quickly. Tanks uh, now within range of those Ultras as they come down. Marines also trying to push on down. He's going to be trying to get in the best possible position to deal with what's about to come. And uh, he's going to be funneling his forces down. But the Brew Lords are going to help thin up those Marine numbers quite a bit. 
That almost gets taken out. Very close to being dropped right now. Could see a repair, though. Scan of the high ground. We will be seeing those Vikings push forward. Marines trying to deal with the Corruptors that are target firing down those Vikings. The Vikings are overwhelmed, though, by so many Corruptors. And there are the Brewers taking out the rest of the Marines. Ultra is also moving down. And the Army looking very small right now for Yoon. 116 to 52 Army supply. Both expansions gone. And Yoon doesn't have any more mining right now. The economy is shot. King Mafia has all those bases still up and running. And that looks like it's going to be it, guys. There's the GG. Very intense game here between King Mafia and Yoon. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Stay tuned tomorrow for some more StarCraft II commentary as is per the usual. As always, guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.